Hi friends, welcome to day 18 of our 40 days of prayer and fasting for our husbands. Yesterday, we talked and prayed about wisdom. Wisdom is discerning what is right from wrong. Today, we are going to talk about integrity. And integrity is doing the right thing. We need to pray for our husbands to be able to walk boldly along the pathway of integrity. So what does the Bible say about integrity? Well, we have several verses to reflect upon today. Proverbs 10, 9 says, The man of integrity walks securely, but he who takes crooked paths will be found out. Proverbs eleven three, The integrity of the upright guides them, but the unfaithful are destroyed by their duplicity. Isaiah 32 verse 8, But the noble man makes noble plans, and by noble deeds he stands. Titus 2, 6-7, Similarly, encourage the young man to be self-controlled. In everything, set them an example by doing what is good. In your teaching, show integrity seriousness, and soundness of speech that cannot be condemned, so that those who oppose you may be ashamed because they have nothing bad to say about us. Psalms 25, 21 says, May integrity and honesty protect me, for I put my hope in you, Lord. Psalm 26, 11 to 12 says, But I am not like that. I live with integrity. So redeem me and show me mercy. Now I stand on solid ground, and I will publicly praise the Lord. Proverbs 27, 12 says, Do not let me fall into their hands, for they accuse me of things I've never done. With every breath they threaten me with violence. Let's go ahead and pray. Dear Jesus, thank you for the perfect example of a life of integrity. You did everything with a sincere love for mankind and humble obedience to your Father. I pray you will reveal your goodness to my husband and give him the desire to follow in the path you have prepared. Father, give my husband a heart that is sincere, hating what is evil, clinging to what is good. Many are the plans of a man's heart, but I pray, Lord, that the plans of my husband's heart are only noble ones. If the plans of his heart do not fit into your will or do not line up with your word, do not let them come about. Keep him from doing anything that will lead to a guilty conscience or tarnished reputation. May integrity and uprightness protect him. May he always do what is good, be serious, and have sound speech that cannot be condemned. Father, I pray you would impart wisdom and prudence upon my husband so he may know and decide what is right. Should he be tempted to do something not glorifying to you, help him stand strong in his faith and walk the way of integrity. May he remember that he who has clean hands and a pure heart will one day have the reward of standing in your presence. I pray my husband will be one who says as Job did, till I die, I will not deny my integrity. May he lead a blameless life before you. In Jesus' name, amen. So what's the fasting challenge for today? Today, we are asked to fast all solid foods, choose broth, juices, and water. What about you? What is your fasting option? Please write your comments below so that together we can help each other finish the race Thank you so much and God bless you.